The idea of the course was to empower endoscopy nurses, um, to give them the knowledge behind what we do on a daily basis. So it's from the patient entering the department to leaving and everything that we do in between. I've come on the course today to improve my knowledge really and my skills because we are quite diagnostic when, when it comes to using clips and things like that. We don't get a lot of experience and practice. I've been nursing for 13 years but endoscopy is new to me so um, this course looked like a really good package um, to get a overall taste of endoscopy. I try to improve my skills regarding banding, regarding clipping, to apply the clips, regarding polypectomy, regarding needle injecting. Technology is moving and techniques change all the time really quickly so to keep yourself up to date you really need to go back sometimes and, and see what the the way they're teaching at the moment and what the current sort of techniques are and practices. I've never done it and nearly all the nurses on the unit have done it and they said it's really exciting, it's really good and to learn different things about it. The course has got a reputation for being a good course and it's a practical hands-on course as well, which you don't often get. I love hands-on learning. I'm, I'm much more into learning um, practically than I am You're reading a book. You can read a book a hundred times, but learning it with, you know, hands-on, I will 100% learn much more from that activity. It's open to, to all areas really. We've had nurses from the private sectors, we've had nurses from Spire, from Leeds, Manchester, Edinburgh. It's good to get the experience from other parts of the country and I think we would learn from people who come from other parts of the country but also we would be able to share our experiences with them and I think the standard across the board then you would like to think would increase. So we will focus on everything that we're doing um, on a daily basis physically, practically using all the equipment, but then we've got the endoscopy and the consultants giving us the knowledge behind what we do and why we do it. We're training them to the JAG standards so they feel appreciated in the high levels of the high standards we can get them to help them to deliver. The School of Endoscopy is an integral part of the way our endoscopy department runs. The team work very well together and it helps both sides. And I think we've seen real benefits in terms of the outcomes for patients really enjoyed it, the staff are really friendly, um, lots of hands-on um, procedures and technical skills that you can do. Stuff that I've learned, I can go back to my colleagues who have been on the course and I can relay to them what I've learned today. At the morning we did a um, sit-down session with the doctors and they were really informative and it, some of it was um, just a refresher but it's really good to have that refresher. And this afternoon we'd done a practical and it was really good, it was hands-on yeah. and really interesting. Having the pig tissue was really useful. Obviously when you're looking at it, it just looks like a, a human uh, tissue and uh, when you're using it, Obviously, like sometimes the doctor asks you to hold the scope and uh, talk on the scope, so it just felt the same. It's quite unusual to be able to mm. do that hands-on technique, except on a real patient have we done these activities before, so to be able to do them on a mm. dummy and actually see how they work, it's really, really good. Well, it was a brilliant day for me. I gained more confidence now, and I advise, uh, you know, my colleague if want to follow the endoscopy, it's brilliant, okay? It was a great experience for me today and I learned a lot.